Boys and girls, today I'm going to go over your greeted response for this week, April 19th through the 23rd. Um, go ahead and put your name on it. Make sure you are doing this really carefully as you put your answers in the grid. That's the reason we practice this every week. It's got to be put in there correctly. Don't forget, there are no commas. Always look. If there's not a symbol for a comma, you can't put one there. Remember, this is our fraction symbol and our decimal. We cannot have a mixed number like two and a half because that would look like 21 halves. We need to make them improper. All right, so our first one. 80 minus 42 and 3 fourths. 42 and 3 fourths. Be careful subtracting this. I would suggest to um, add up, kind of work backwards. So think about what fraction you would need to get to the next whole number and then see what the difference is. All right. Number two, what is the volume of a cube with a length of eight? So remember, we find volume length times width times height. It only tells us our length, but if we look carefully at our wording, we know what the width and the height is. Number three, there are 75 boys in the gym. Three-fifths of them are wearing white shirts. How many boys are wearing white shirts? I want you to think about that. If it's asking you how many boys, then you need to understand that that would be a whole number. We don't want a fraction of a boy. It says how many boys. All right. And think about what that fraction means, three-fifths. We know a fraction is a division problem. We know that those boys have been put into five groups. And three-fifths means we have three of those five groups. So think of all of that. I really suggest um, maybe drawing a picture, maybe not drawing 75 boys, but maybe you could put the number that would be in each group. All right, and the last one, Henry, Buddy, and Richard are sharing four gallons of tea. How much tea does each person get? So first I want you to think about what makes sense. Count your people, count your gallons of tea, and think, are they gonna get a whole gallon? Are they gonna get less than one? Will they get more than one? Think about what makes sense for that and put your answers in the grids, write and bubble them and do your best. 